Hunter Wireless Valve Link Field Installation Once all wireless valve links are programmed and addressed, you can take each numbered device to the correct locations and install them. Installation normally requires a battery-powered drill motor and a one and a half inch hole saw that's supplied with a wireless valve output module package. Depending on the valve box lid construction, you may also want to have a cordless jigsaw or other tool to trim the interior support ribs on the underside of the lid. The hole saw is not always deep enough to reach all the support ribs. A simple way to install the wireless valve link is to install it in its own separate small valve box, such as the Hunter Multipurpose Box, Model MB. You can run the solenoid wires up to 100 feet or 33 meters from the wireless valve link. So this is an easy solution if it's an option. The wireless valve link can also usually be installed in the same box as the valve with some care and planning. At each valve box, mark the hole location for the wireless valve link on the lid. Be sure to allow adequate clearance for the valve, pipe, and any other hardware such as isolation valves in the valve box location. The wireless valve link has a four and a quarter inch, 10.8 centimeters diameter, and it'll hang down six and a quarter inches, 15.9 centimeters below the valve box lid. You'll need an area of those dimensions within the valve box to ensure that it will clear any obstructions. You can drill with the lid removed for added safety or carefully drill into the lid on the valve box. Use the hole saw to drill the hole. Don't use too much pressure and let the drill do the work. If needed, use additional tools to remove any remaining rib walls that are deeper than the hole saw. This is relatively easy once the hole is started. Insert the threaded wireless valve link assembly without the cap up through the hole from the bottom side. Adjust the locking thread nut to make sure the threaded shaft extends far enough above the hole to attach the cap. Screw on the cap to hold up the assembly, then tighten the locking nut from below. To learn more, visit HunterIndustries.com.